It looks like no matter how far Jeffrey tries to get away from LA drama, he still finds himself somehow back in the thick of it, getting called out, accused of things. It is a total mess. Ever since Jeffree Star moved to Wyoming, things have been honestly rather quiet for him. He used to be in drama after drama, especially once he became friends with Shane Dawson. The two of them, the besties that they are, still had their pasts uncovered more than it had ever been before. And people started to change how they felt about the duo that had almost for an entire year, you guys, people loving them and being obsessed with them and the palette that they were creating together in the series that Shane was making, people were loving them. They went from this major high of popularity to just falling off because of insider articles, drama that they got into with James Charles. Everybody was changing their opinions on Shane. They were changing their opinions on Jeffrey and everything from their past also had people questioning who they were loving the last couple of months. And even though they had been called out years before, people have always just thought, oh, well, they changed, they changed, they changed. And then people realized, oh, this stuff is actually unforgivable and change their minds. Once things kind of settled down and both of them took some time away, Jeffrey decided to leave the drama behind and he started going to Wyoming to look at properties. And once he actually decided to make the move there, he spent his time raising his yaks on his farm and staying out of drama. And there has not really been anything crazy like LA drama for him in a very long time. I mean, he's really kept to himself, except for when he came out with his big Jeffree Star skincare. That was a time where he sort of kind of tried to create drama by inviting Tana to his party and having Shane be at the party with Tana because Tana had a history of calling out Shane and not supporting Shane anymore, shading him for having made videos with her and having made her feel uncomfortable during the times when they were filming videos. And that was kind of Jeffree also getting talked about because they met up. But aside from that and the two of them reuniting at Jeffree's party, Party, Jeffrey really hasn't been getting talked about a lot. Although it seems like someone is trying to stir the pot with him once more and things seem to be going down. Jeffrey, who doesn't address anything obviously, hasn't said a single word about the situation, but somehow my TikTok for you page wanted to be a little messy and wanted me to see this drama because it randomly just fell into my lap. And I was like, wait, what in the world is going on here? Now, I do want to say that I don't know exactly all the details of the situation being described here, and people in the comments on TikTok are obviously skeptical and kind of wondering where any proof is or what Jeffrey actually did, but I'm going to tell you guys what I do know after watching a lot of these TikToks posted by someone named Mickey. Jeffrey recently posted a TikTok showing off his life in Wyoming, and Mickey stitched it to say that Jeffrey had invited them to pay a visit to his ranch in Wyoming. And Mickey was put through the ringer while they were there, apparently. Mickey didn't say much during the first post about why they were so upset in making this video bashing Jeffrey. But the first part basically included Mickey saying Jeffrey hadn't changed much personality wise since when he was living in LA, people were feeling like he let fame get to his head and he was mean and angry and didn't treat people well. And people were hoping that he was different now and that he was in Wyoming and Mickey's basically saying, nope. There's shady shit going down at Star Ranch that needs to be talked about. I met Jeffrey in November of 2021 when I was invited to visit the ranch. When I arrived and the dean the assistant was supposed to pick me up from the airport, never showed up. So I had to buy a $120 Uber from Casper International Airport to the ranch, which is like 20 minutes outside Casper. And then when my Uber arrived, wasn't even allowed up his private road. So I had to walk the half mile up to the gates of Star Ranch and then from there up to his house. But this was my one opportunity to take photos of the property as there's no phones when Jeffrey's around. In the gates of Star Ranch. I'm just popping in here just for a second to say, does this not look scary? Just me, just me, maybe just me. Okay. Further up the road, and you can clearly see I'm not in a car, I'm walking. It literally took me 30 minutes to walk up. Not many people know this, but Jeffrey's not the only house that lives on that private road either. 
Jeffrey's very intimidating to meet for the first time. He needs constant appraisal or else he turns hostile. Trisha, who we all know isn't the most trusted source, did detail her friendship with Jeffrey over the years on her channel and on Frenemies and was a big reason why Shane and Jeffrey got called out again after their cancellation because Jeffrey let his employees talk extremely negatively about Trisha and her appearance and her skin, shaming her, judging how much money she had. And that was proof to people that Jeffrey had not made the changes that he claimed he had, if he's letting his employees say those types of things about his closest friends, they just couldn't believe that he would do that. Shane obviously taking Jeffrey's side in that whole situation caused Shane to get into some drama. But as much as Jeffrey has said over the years that he's left the past in the past and he's changed and he's a different person and he's grown and he's learning and all this stuff, there are still some people here and there that come out just like Mickey and have said that Jeffrey is still the same old person that he's always been. Mickey Mickey made several other TikToks saying that Jeffrey's lawyer actually sent them a cease and desist to prevent any further videos being made about Jeffrey. But Mickey claimed to not be scared of Jeffrey's cease and desist and was still going to share as much as possible. Hi guys. So before I even had a chance to speak about my experiences on Star Ranch, I got a little present from our friend, Miss Jeffrey Lynn. My very own cease and desist letter I'm not scared of the truth. I know what went on and I'm not afraid to bring that to light for everybody else. Mickey then details that there is a much bigger reason as to why Jeffrey even moved out of Los Angeles in the first place and that he burned a lot of bridges with people he was friends with there and he fled to escape things that were about to come out about him. Back in 2020, when Jeffrey got canceled for the first time, there's a reason he got canceled and it's because of the influencers that are out here in LA and the IG influencers, cause they got a hold of a little bit of information that wasn't released to the public and those bridges that he had in LA were burned and they pushed that whole cancellation forward for him and made that a whole thing and that info didn't even get released to the public. He was canceled on stuff that wasn't even like the like not even under the surface of what was going on. But that's a different story. Cause what we're talking about today is why he fled from LA to Wyoming to try and be relevant again and hide from his little past things that he had going on. And I can tell you that the drug abuse, the exploitation, the narcissism is so rampant on that ranch. It's mind boggling. It's scary that after everything that's gone on, this is still allowed because he can buy a mansion in the middle of nowhere and just have people cater to him still. It's mind blowing. Mickey helped Jeffrey out before they associated with the same people and was there even helping Jeffrey move out of his warehouse. And before any of you try to call me out or question the validity of what I'm talking about, I'll leave you with a little bit more proof of my connections to Jeffrey. This was me when I visited Jeffrey's warehouse to help him clean it out because he was closing that one down to move his warehousing to where they manufacture his products in Denver. And I was sent home with my little goodie bag Boom literally took this picture of me, literally behind the scenes, packing everything up to ship it to the Denver location. Mickey says that they have a mutual friend, Boom, and Jeffrey put this friend in a horrible situation. Mickey claims it was all to get his fix and that Jeffrey would do anything to get this fix. And everybody knows about Jeffrey's best friend. And I'm not talking about my ex-best friend, Boom. I'm talking about Jeffrey's best friend, Tina, who's the reason why all of his bridges in LA are burned, why he had to flee to a ranch to be able to do what he wants and not get called out for it anymore. The way he would put my friend Boone in danger to be able to have his fix, I will never be able to forgive or forget. The situations that he was put in is criminal. It's wrong and it disgusts me to this day. Tina used to arrive at Jeffrey's by a guy named Switch who would drop her off. Late one night in the beginning of January, Boom called me crying because Jeffrey had a meltdown when he could no longer get a hold of Switch. He forced Boom to drive to a warehouse two hours outside of Casper in a town called Gillette. Boom called me sobbing the entire drive because he was so scared. It was freezing that night and when Boom finally arrived, he was harassed. 
the two men at the warehouse made homophobic and racist remarks regarding Boom, his sexual orientation, and where he's from in Mexico. Mickey says that this story has got to get out there just in hopes that other people will have information and connect him with Boom so Boom can get help, get out of the situation with Jeffrey that Mickey is claiming is going on here. Now, unfortunately for me, me and Boom are no longer on good terms, and once he saw those TikToks, he alerted Jeffrey. I do not believe that he is in a safe situation right now. He has detailed so many horrible, horrible things that have happened to him since going out and being on that ranch. It's overwhelming the amount of people that have reached out and confided in me with stories that are unspeakable regarding this man and how he's treated them and things that he has done to them. I'm scared for my old friend. Jeffrey will stop at nothing to get what he wants in his fix, including endangering anyone around him. I mean, you guys, it's a real messy, crazy situation that's being described here. And like I told you guys in the beginning, there's not like a whole lot of hard evidence, like details about what is like so awful that's going on here. It just sounds like someone is in a bad situation with Jeffrey trying to get something for Jeffrey and that Jeffrey is still treating people just like mean. He's playing mean girl playing Regina George, it seems, maybe to a much more extreme level, but I think that is exactly what is being accused here. But I stumbled upon this on TikTok and I thought, all right guys, like let's talk about it because this is something I saw and I was like, oh my goodness, somebody we haven't talked about. It's like a little throwback, a little throwback Monday moment. So I definitely wanna know if you guys saw this on TikTok, what you guys think about it. If you guys haven't, you guys are seeing it for the first time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Guys. <laughs>